Okay, we're still learning about the basics of container networking. Uh, we've seen in the last video that we've actually run this container, the simple web server, and we spoke about the port mapping, that this is the host port and this is the container port. Um, and we spoke about how we can access that. We, we did that actually via uh, the, web, the, web, the web browser and the curl uh, tool. What we wanted to speak about now is that in networking in general, IP version 4 address, this form of uh, something dot something dot something dot something, is very limited. The number of IP addresses that we can have is limited, and therefore uh, we won't be having containers you know, that have public IP addresses but rather they containers will have IP addresses containers have IP addresses and then the services that the containers have on them the, the containers uh, uh, publish or the containers offer like for example a web server or a database server or a mail server or something like that they will be exposed port by port so we will always be playing about with port numbers we'll be playing about port mappings and things like that to avoid any conflict so you can have several services running on different port numbers in in general uh, but we've seen that we can actually uh, find out about the port mapping when we do docker ps but we don't have to do docker ps if we know the docker uh, the docker containers id we can do docker port we spoke about this before so if you just do docker and, do, and hit enter you'll see a list of arguments, one of them is port. List port mappings or a specific mapping for the container. So what I can do is I can, I can say docker port and then what's the container ID? It's running in the background, isn't it? Um, 302D, 302. Uh, just hit and, uh, tab and auto-complete. And then I know the container is working on port 8000 but I need to find out uh, what the host port number is so I do 8000 and it should give me back the host port number so this is another way of knowing the external sort of port yeah the whole the host is port number another trick would be to assign the host port number manually so let's actually uh, let's remove this container first so look a kill 302 and let's remove it so nothing is running in the background now yeah right so when we ran the container earlier let's go back to the command yeah so what we've done earlier we left it to uh, find a host a host port number randomly or automatically but now we're going to tell it to explicitly use port 80 or so I can say docker run minus d to run in the background and then minus p to map 8000 to 80 or 80 to 8000 so that the host port number now is 80 and the containers port number is a normal one 8000 or let's change it maybe let's say do it 88 or something like that yeah so the host port number now is 88 the containers port number is 8000 let's hit enter should be working if I do docker ps then I can see here the mapping 888 and 8000 and if I go there I can say 88 and I should get the same result and even if I do the curl command we did earlier yeah I should be able to reach the service via port 88 I hope that makes sense this is this just port to do the port mapping manually and specify a custom port number rather than leaving it to docker to find a, a port number randomly any of the free ports okay um, another thing is we spoke about docker containers having not having public IP addresses meaning having internal IP addresses there is a way of knowing of knowing the IP address of a container and the command I've tapped in here already as you can see this is a little bit advanced stuff so docker inspect minus minus format 
this argument here and then we pass it the container ID. So let's copy this command, control C, and then paste it there. And we need to pass it the ID of our container, which is this here. If I hit tab or to complete, that's not necessary. The first few characters are fine as long as they're unique. If I hit enter now, it gives me the container's port number so I can actually ping it if I want. And as you can see, the container is reachable. But always remember, this IP address is not public. Containers, we don't want, to, want them to have a public IP addresses. We do the port mapping and that should do the trick for us. So I hope it's, it's making sense now that we are using a web server inside a container. We can publish it, make it public, and uh, other people can access it. It will accept requests from different computers. We just need to be aware of this idea of the port mapping and uh, know which port number that we have to use when we try to access that service and all should be fine. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.